Good evening, welcome to the show. My name is Yadidia Nyakahangura and the show is Women Rise Up. We want to see how we can lift our women, our young girls into positions of leadership and responsibility. We want to see how to identify abilities in them and empower them to put their abilities to use. Tonight we want to talk to Miss Martha Agwang, former Miss Tourism Eastern Uganda. We will have a very interesting discussion, but this will be after watching this skit. Ndodo kwa Ndoka <laughs> Ndoko <laughs>
happy at all. How could you? Why is that? I was even getting scared. I thought the police had was coming for me. You should be scared. It seems they don't want your daughter to do the exams. No, not, not for, 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 for that, but looking at it, I'm having a problem with the money. I'm having a big burden of many children. But then she has grown up, so I believe she can get married. Yes, I know. But she has been one of our best students for the last six years. Yes, I, I am very aware of that because I've been keeping track. But then, she has grown up, so a potential man can actually come and get married to her. I'm sorry, sir. The school has been lenient enough. This time I've failed. I but understand. Do you think father can be lenient for me for this last time? Joyce, my dear, yes. I understand your situation. Getting an education, most especially us girls, wasn't easy nowadays, but we pushed on. I have worked hard, madam. Isn't there a way I can be pardoned for this final time? Joyce, my dear, how about you help me and supply some of these snacks around the village? Are you sure? Besides, you also need my company to make sure I don't get married off. Oh. Half of the profits will be yours for clearing up the remaining fees balance. Miss Wataka, I don't know how I will pay you back for doing this one. This is little, my dear. I want you to promise to be an influential leader and help girls to rise up. I won't let you down for sure. This can at least ease the pressure on my dad to find money. As long as you are disciplined and can balance this job too. Then it's possible you can excel high at the national level. Thanks once again. Let me go and get my stuff. Okay, dear. Uh, headmistress, thank you. We're very, very grateful for that opportunity. It's okay. She was the best in the school, she was best in the school. I can't even tell you. Yeah, welcome to the show. My name is Yadidia Nyakahangra and the show is Women Rise Up. Brought to you by the Embassy of Sweden in Uganda and UN Women. I hope you enjoyed the skit. With me is uh, uh, Miss Agwang Matha. Yeah, she was uh, Miss Tourism 2016-17 uh, uh, for Teso region. And uh, she's a media personality. And she works with a number of CSOs. Good to, good to have you here, Matha. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you for having me in this program today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you were a beauty queen for, for uh, Miss Tourism, which tourism strongly appreciates culture. Yes. And uh, there has always been conflicting loyalty about culture and uh, women's rights. Yes, yes, uh, I, I don't know how you, you, you perceived that or how you still perceive it. I, first of all, I must appreciate culture. Culture yes. is very good. Mm. It helps us to observe certain social norms in community yes. that we should continue practicing. However, there are other negative cultural norms that infringe or affect the rights of women and girls. For instance, you look at in a society whereby 
a woman is not accepted to own property you know a man thinks even if he has married this woman and maybe she has uh, uh, cultivated or carried out agriculture he should be the one who is in charge of that little maybe the crops or the produce that she cultivated and at the end of the day he comes and sells it uses the money and doesn't share the money with the woman you you, you come from a region uh that by research mm -hmm. uh, that has very low levels of, of, of education yeah uh, especially whose youths both male and female mm. have uh, very low levels of education but it is even worse for girls I don't know to what extent has this limited girls abilities to explore their good-given talents and, and other inborn abilities I think I derive this question back to the cultural norms whereby um, some communities just look at girls as property um, in that when a girl is married of course that is exchange of bride price yes. so i think that is where this whole education levels i mean uh, it, it's it's limited because of such issues whereby a parent just looks at a girl she started developing breasts and she's becoming an adolescent and you know they're already looking at where they will get from, you get. Or even, God forbid, if this girl was defiled, parents only look at whereby um, they are going to charge the, maybe yes. the perpetrator, <laughs> yes, and the perpetrator yes. just comes with only one cow. And that yeah. is where the case yeah. gets done. The case just dies like that, just because he came and gave them a cow, mm. and they think this is where it should end, he has paid for it, mm. and they just leave this girl. And yet this girl, if it was brought in the courts of law, this girl could actually get a chance again to go back to school. And such a simple act would limit a girl from being the next woman yes, MP. For yes. How easy is it for young girls uh, who have grown up from Bukedia, from uh, Soroti, from Serere, from, uh, from, 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 from Teso region, mm. how is, who have been born and they have studied from there, mm. they have, you know, they have grown up from there. How easy is it to emerge as leaders? Uh, because I know for a fact that even uh, the ones that represent those regions, like for the beauty pageants, like the one you had, yeah. most of them come from Kampala but go to their mother districts to compete. But they have grown up from Kampala, mm. they have studied from Kampala, but they go back. How easy is it for this woman, for this young girl who was born and raised from Serere, from mm. Soroti, from Bokedia, to mm. emerge a strong leader? Mm. How is it? I believe, uh, first of all, if they are given opportunity. Yes. Usually, um, women are limited because they are not given the opportunity and the chance yes. to exercise the right or to exercise or to prove to the public that I am actually a good leader. I can lead. I can put you guys somewhere, you know? If, if women are given a platform, if girls are given a platform, if they are trained and also given this platform of, yes, let's come and contest come and contest or come and do this you know if if i'm given that it is all about the platform as long yes. as the platform is there as long as i'm given a chance mm. to prove society wrong that actually the person you undermined is actually now a bright star and is mm. representing us out there i believe it starts with the platform okay. that is the whole basis how easy was it for you well i think because i've always been a go-getter Okay. I am someone who is, um, how can I say, mm. I'm someone who is always very ambitious. Yes. I've always, I have my ambitions, even right now as a, as a girl, and where, wherever I'm going, I have my ambitions. I finished a degree, now I'm pursuing a master's in diplomacy and international studies. I'm looking at myself maybe as a diplomat out there yes, one day. It's possible. So it's all about my ambition, my determination, knowing that I can do it. I always tell myself words of affirmation. Um, in your view, what are some of the limitations? What are some of the things that are limiting these young girls, especially your age mates hmm. who are right now in Soroti, in the, deep in the village? Uh, but they also would want to become diplomats. But w what do you think uh, the, is limiting them, other I, than growing up from that side? I think what is limiting girls yeah. right now is the fact that, first of all, they are not exposed. You yeah. know, when you're in a certain community, you, you only think, if I got 
uh, maybe if someone goes to school mm. and maybe um, they can't raise tuition mm. to continue to the next level, all they look at is maybe get married already. Yeah, but yeah. if if this girl had a chance of studying and if there is someone paying for their tuition, of course they would excel at the end of the day. Mm. And I believe I can blame it on poverty, yeah? yeah? That is what limits most families. You find finances. The finances. Yeah. And also yeah. when it comes to the finances, you find that maybe in some families you find there are so many children uh, maybe what people need to do is apply the aspect of uh, maybe family planning because you know by the time a, a parent has so many kids mm. and at the end of the day maybe they're not earning too much and their demands from all these children it limits the children from excelling or from going to greater heights where they would have wished to go okay. yeah Thank you very much. Uh, this is Women Rise Up, and our guest is uh, Martha Agwang. She was uh, Miss Tourism, Teso Region 2016-2017. We are on social media. Facebook is Women Rise Up, YouTube, Women Rise Up, Twitter, Women Rise Up, Instagram, Women Rise Up. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back from that break. My name is Yadidia Nyakahangra, and uh, our show is Women Rise Up. Our guest is Martha Agwang, uh, Miss Tourism, Teso Region 2016-2017. Uh, Miss Tourism Personality. Yeah? Miss Personality Miss Personality Uganda. Uganda. Mm -hmm. yeah. 2016-2017. <laughs> yeah, she had to do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a royal but wave. Yeah. I don't know how a girl is brought up, where you're born, whether they are brought up so well that they can easily become leaders. Okay. Share with me your experience. How, <laughs> how, how is a young girl brought up in Teso region? Is it good enough for them to become strong leaders? Does it give them enough confidence as they grow up to know that, yes, I can become a leader? Yeah. So now this one has two options. Yes. There is where, there, it depends on the family. Yes. There are some families who still rely on the social culture norms. Yes. Whereby a girl is brought up and she's made to feel like she's so fragile. Yes. Because yes. society has this perception of women are a weaker sex. So this girl grows up knowing I am, you know, I'm from the weaker sex. Have and I have to be, you know, soft. Yeah. I don't have to be aggressive, but you find there are certain families like me where I grew up from. Um, I'm glad I've, I've always been given this opportunity of always sharing my ideas, you yes, know, yes, yes. Um, suggest things that de developmental things for the good of the family, you know. That is how some of us have emerged. It starts from, you know, they say usually charity begins from home and it takes a whole village, you know, to raise a a child, child yes, but yes. I think because I grew up in a community whereby we were given uh, the opportunity to express ourselves, we were given the opportunity to do to become be become better people that we've always wanted to become. Yes. So I think, um, much as there are still these families whereby women are looked at as weak, girls are looked at as weak, I think we should try and break that chain and empower women. Tell parents should always tell their children words of affirmation that you are a strong girl, you are a strong woman, you know? The fear some men have is that um, oftentimes when women are empowered, they exceed the, the limits. Because also we must agree yeah. that uh, whereas it's very important to, to empower young girls, to encourage them to get into positions of, of responsibility and leadership, mm. but it's also important that when they go home, they, rem they become wives and they submit to their husbands and their husbands love them and then they move forward because there are things exactly. that we must appreciate, the, f the hard facts that we must appreciate. So sometimes men want to keep a distance because of the fears, because there, there have been precedences uh, where when a woman is empowered, mm -hmm. they cease to be women and they think, you know... Mm, I think yeah. I might have to disagree with you on that one. You know why? Yeah, yeah. Because much as we are still advocating for women's rights, yes? yes, much as we are fighting for them. At the end of the day, a woman still has to respect her husband. Yes. In a relationship, when we talk about qualities of a good relationship, 
is I, you have to care for me or I have to care for you. Mm. You have to, you know, value me. Yes. You know, I have to give you the respect. It's respect me. Yes. It's mutual. Unless if a man is disrespecting this woman is when she will also, you know, feel like, of course, that is wrong. I, I, I'm not saying they should do that. But all I'm saying is, Men who feel like when women are empowered, they grow more wings, that is a very wrong idea and a wrong perception. Mm. No, I have known of very powerful women at the end of the day who go back and be submissive to their husbands. At home. Exactly. There is this thinking that you, you, you young women, you no longer cook like your mothers but drink like your fathers. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay. Now, uh-huh. Go ahead. Yeah, so, so there, there is also that thinking. And in, in some way, mm. it, it, it also makes us uh, be a bit more careful mm. when we are giving you some opportunities mm. because we, we think you have deviated from the normal way of doing things. I think we are still doing things the normal okay. way. Yeah. We still cook like our mothers used to cook. Yeah. But maybe when it comes, you see now that is where we go wrong. So yes. that it goes wrong, actually. Yeah. You think, um, why is it that it is okay for you to take wine and me, if I'm just having a small glass of wine? Just it remember is a big, Jesus. Just, you know, he said, yeah, we should take it exactly. in remembrance of him. Those are the things we are talking about. <laughs> Those are the things we should, we are all equal. We okay. are all as one, you yes, know? Yes, yes, yes. We are all equal. So I should be given the opportunity to relax, take a sip, a glass of wine, just one like this. At the end of the day, I can still go back and be the good wife the man wants me to be or be the good cook they want me to be. I, I think we still, not even I think, we still cook very well like as, as we wind up, As we wind up, how can people use their positions, especially women who have made it, women have um, achieved uh, something, who have reached somewhere, mm. and uh, there, there are lots of young girls who are looking up to them. How can yeah. these women use their positions, especially, even you by the way, yeah. yeah? You have been somewhere. How have you used your position to inspire these young girls who are growing up and how can women who have mm. gotten to where you haven't reached even you, how can they use their positions to inspire young girls? Um, first of all, uh, let me start with myself. Yeah. How I have always used my position is whenever I have an opportunity to talk to young girls yeah. or maybe on my daily activities, I get, if I get an opportunity to talk to young girls, I inspire them. I tell them that, you know what, you are in school, not because your parents are educating you for their good, but it is for your good, for your good yes. and there is more to life than just you know looking at marriage. Marriage is not the whole. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's, it's not an, like a big achievement. Like at the end of the day, like society portrays it to be. You still have a future to fight for. You still have, you know, you still have a dream to achieve. So I I always talk to girls and of course there is also that stage of adolescence. We've all gone through adolescence. And I tell them, you know what, don't accept these young boys to come and play with your mind. Boys only can come and then he plays with your mind, he buys you these small gifts. At the end of the day, if you get pregnant, you're going to get pregnant. Maybe your parents will refuse to pay for your tuition or maybe your guardian or something like that. And then the boy is always left to go ahead and continue with school. And then for you, that is where it ends. So I tell them that look at yourself as a woman of value mm? uh, carry yourself with a lot of value and integrity respect yourself and do not accept to be deceived by this young and boy used. yes and use you know at the end of the day they are used don't be carried out with all this innocence so whenever i have the opportunity to talk to young girls i i, I do that then maybe what i can tell my fellow women who have made it in life out there is never forget that the rest of us who are still down you know Use your position to fight for us. Use your position to empower us. Yeah, thank you very much, Martha. And uh, unfortunately, we have to end here. Thank you very much for watching. We had Martha Agwang as our guest for this episode. She's former Miss Tourism, Teso Region. She was uh, Miss Personality, Miss Uganda Personality 2016-2017. And uh, she works as a media person for CDFU. Uh, uh, an NGO that actually does almost the same work and that has the same intentions like this program. In case you joined us, let's find us on Facebook, find us on Twitter, find us on Instagram and YouTube. Just search for Women Rise Up. My name is Yadidia Nyakahangra. Bye-bye.